The story of the Rossi Salai struggle is an inspirational one. For more than a decade, villagers affected by the dam fought first for compensation and then to decommission the dam. In 1999, 2,000 people created a protest village in the reservoir area and risked drowning in their quest to have the dam gates opened. Six months later, in a victory for the villagers, the government agreed to open the dam's gates to let the river run free. My expectations have really been met. Activists found the meeting had left them hopeful and with renewed conviction for the struggles ahead. Uh, the content of uh, the workshops very rich, very enriching because uh, there are lots of things we have learned from the workshop that will really help us, will really help me back home, which I will really carry back home for our campaigns. So we really had first-hand evidence of feeling appreciation of what the villagers are going through and what the river means to the villagers. And the feeling of solidarity that you're not alone, that all over the world there are people who are concerned and who are willing to challenge uh, this kind of destruction, who are willing to question, who are willing to, uh, who have a commitment to put their lives to stake uh, in fighting all this. I think that's the most important uh, thing that uh, uh, I think most of us will carry back from this meeting. All the efforts of activists, of affected, of amenazed that are happening here, is valuable for us and gives us a lot of inspiration and force to continue. And I will take and share with all the media media todo lo que nosotros estamos aprendiendo aquí y compartiendo. We demand that the Tabela Dam affectees be compensated. Uh, the World Bank Rivers for Life delegates endorsed resolutions of support for dam affected communities throughout the world and approved the Rossi Salai Declaration. Signatories agreed to oppose the construction of all socially and environmentally destructive dams and to promote better options for meeting energy and water needs. The meeting came to a close where it began, on the banks of the Moon River. People gathered at the river's edge for a traditional Thai river blessing ceremony, and then launched ceremonial boats with messages of solidarity.